Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Ravind Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will learn how to push the Cucumber BDD Maven project into Git from Eclipse. And then we will pull the same Maven project from GitHub and build it from Jenkins. So let's get started and see how it can be done. So I have created a couple of projects, BDD projects inside Eclipse, which I want to, you know, push to the Git. Okay, so let me copy this uh, BDD framework and then I'll create a copy uh, called let's say as that get okay so this is going to be my project name and then I'll copy it into the same workspace and let's get inside this project and see whatever we have created here and copied now if we are able to run the test inside this particular you know project so I'll simply go to the uh, project where the POM is available and simply run the command and mvn clean and test i'll just run it i'll just execute this command and with whatever uh, output we are seeing on the console we are going to get the same output on the jenkins once we push and we'll pull the project okay so you can see there is a uh, no failure and build the uh, build is successful you can see all those uh, feature file got executed successfully okay all the step definition uh, are executed uh, properly so click on login button and then user is navigated to the home page and close the browser everything is all fine there is no error so we are supposed to get the same uh, output on the console jenkins console okay so just before that uh, just before that how to push this particular you know uh, how to push this particular bdd uh, project maven project into the git okay so how to do that so let us actually create the repository i'll just copy the same name and uh, let me take the same name okay save it and i'll just copy the same name which is as dead git and i'll create a repository okay so you can go to the home of this git and you can go to the repository and create the new repository by clicking on the new and just say give the same name and if it is available this particular new repository is not created inside your um, account then it will say as that repository name is available you can choose uh, this name and simply you go with that all the default option okay for now it will be public okay because it is free of cost and then uh, let's let's go with the default option and click on create create a repository right so your repository is being created now and it has got created so once it is cre uh, created you will get the repository link also you can see this github report link okay so just copy it and okay just keep eye on this uh, link and it is useful it will be required okay when you push the uh, project into the git so for now now since the project is here and uh, we are going to push this so we'll click on this right uh, on this project right click on this project and go to the teams and we'll share this project and here we have to create the local repository so for now i'll give the same name okay which is s dead git okay and make sure you are going to use the same branch whatever is there in the git okay so we are going to push this uh, project inside the main branch okay and then i'll click on finish and then click on finish so it is going to uh, show some error so that is all fine because we have not given the repository link so far right fail to initialize git team provider just click on okay and click on finish okay now you can see some question mark and everything is there so it means i mean it is not there but the changes are there in the uh, local git repository okay so here working tree is there okay now what we will do what we will do we will right click on this and go to the teams again and click on commit okay so it will take us to this unstaged content wherein i will select all those content and push and drag and drop to the staging area stage changes so there are 94 changes and i'm gonna click on this commit passes and i'll say my maven bdd maven 
प्रोजेक्ट ओके कॉमेंट आर गोइंग टू बी पुश टू द गेट ओके नाउ आई कैन क्लिक ऑन कमिट एंड पुश एंड देर विल बी सम एरर सो एल क्लिक ऑन ओके एंड देन विल वेट फॉर yeah so we have to click on this push head okay now we have to provide the repo link also whatever i have told you right just keep eye on this so this is the repo you have created and this we have to provide here in the uri section of it okay so this is going to take all those authentication whatever user agent i have created right token and then i will just click on preview and everything seems to be good and the branch is main i'll simply click on preview and then i will push the changes to this okay get now i will click on push so you can see zero there is no error as such so i'll click on close and if i go go to the git and refresh this okay i'll get my project over here okay so whatever is there inside this inside this okay main src the space factory page object step definition step runner everything has been pushed to the git so you can see src test resources those feature file will be inside this background feature with tag and the java these are the page factory home page factory login page factory whatever is there inside this okay home page factory login page factory everything has been pushed to the git okay cool right now now what we will do we will create a jenkins job and we will try to you know build the same project okay whatever we have pushed to the git we will pull it from the jenkins and we will run it we will run the same project whatever we have, i mean the way we have run it down from the command prompt right so we will try to run it from the jenkins now so for that what i'll do i'll just create a maven bdd git project okay and then i will choose maven project and click on okay okay meanwhile i'll go to the repository and get the https okay get the clone this repo link okay now here you can mention anything right you are going to run your cucumber project right whatever script uh, you have automated right you are going to run whether those are smoke test or regression test all those uh, script will be inside that project and you are going to run that a uh, project okay from the jenkins okay you are going to pull that from the repo from the git and you are going to run that okay so i'll go ahead and uh, click on this i'll go with the git option and provide the git url for that particular you know uh, a project and as in when you just focus is out of this particular you know a field then it will take that repo link and uh, you're good now just come down and choose the branch we have pushed the code to we have pushed that uh, project to the main branch right so we have to choose we have to choose main right now what you will do you have to go and get yeah so pom.xml okay now i'll click on apply and save it i'll just run this project okay because nothing is needed over here now uh one more thing we can do we can do one more thing we can configure and we can run mb and clean or whatever right so but as part of this build go run option we can run that okay mb and clean or whatever test if you uh, don't give this uh it is going to take the default target okay so just save it and it is going to fail now i'll i'll show you why okay then we will fix that yeah this is this is failed and uh, we'll see the output it will uh, it will 
ask you like uh, where the uh, location of that uh, pom okay so it is not able to pass that pom and it is failed to get that pom dot xml okay the reason is the reason is like it is you are you are trying to you know pull the you are trying to pull the project in your jenkins workspace okay wherein you will not be getting that uh, you know this particular you know project okay so it is looking for that uh, pom.xml inside the maven bdd git okay so but it is inside as that git okay so you have to provide this path you have to provide this path now we will go ahead and go to this project again we'll configure this project and we will give the relative path of pom.xml okay that's it now as that git slash pom.xml we will apply the changes and we will build now so let's see how it goes and there is some error it got uh, so let us go with the default and then we will change those options later will not give any options over there so we'll go with the default one we can change it later and just build it now okay so you can see the console and see it is downloading all those jars required jars okay and everything all dependencies are getting downloaded and it will start the execution of that uh, the test inside that project okay whatever we are pulling from the git okay we had pushed to the git now we are pulling it from the git and we are running those build is successful there is something okay so you can forget this this is um, uh, once in a while i mean you'll get this web socket error so i have already uploaded video uh, related to this uh, particular you know uh, error how to short this particular you know error uh, so you can uh, pass remote uh, allow origin origin actually uh, argument to the uh, chrome driver or driver you are going to use so with that i mean this error will be gone or you can use um, uh, driver.quit also so in that case i mean you will get rid of this error but uh, keeping that uh, issue um, aside okay this is trivial and nothing harmless error basically harmless issue this is just a warning you can see our project build is successful okay and we see the output over here okay one test got passed and there is no error as such okay so this is how you have to run the maven project right from the jenkins this is how you have to build the uh, maven project from the jenkins and that project was pulled from the github all right uh, that's it from the uh, video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section and i will see you next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching